No one ever said that this life would be easy. And few people even say it's worth it. But maybe it's just something that you need to figure out on your own. I get it though. Not wanting to see tomorrow. Especially when you're so focused on yesterday. I think at some point in life, we forget that happiness is attainable. Maybe not by choice, but it's definitely undeniably achievable. It's not until you truly realize who you are that you remember how lost you once were. But then again, the best things in life usually don't come so easy. And maybe this isn't the life that I would have chosen for myself, but here I am. So I am so excited to announce that I am one year and three months on testosterone, 15 months, um, and it is the craziest thing that I have ever gone through. Time really just flies, honestly. So without further ado, I'm going to get right into this comparison. So the first thing that I am going to talk about is my voice, uh, because that is a major thing that, um, that changes throughout you know, hormones and your transition. So this clip right here is my voice pre-testosterone. Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike, and I will be your Tuesday. This next clip is my voice three months on testosterone. I am almost three months on testosterone. This next clip is my voice eight months on testosterone. And this is my voice one year and three months on testosterone. So, Clearly, my voice has changed a lot, and that has been a really awesome thing to see happen, um, and it's really helped um, me kind of just be happy and accept myself, you know, for who I am. So, the next thing that I'm going to show you is my facial hair, because that's clearly um, benefited me, um, and I can clearly grow a lot more than I used to, um, so... Let's get into it. This is actually the day after I got my hair cut. Um, it was about September and absolutely no facial hair whatsoever. Um, I probably, I mean, I like the hair, but eh, it's very, you know, lesbian-ish. The next picture, um, just to show you, like, absolutely no facial hair whatsoever. Like, there is not even, like, baby hairs there. Yeah, so that sucked, but... Another picture of me pre-T, um, this is me, uh, this was a couple months after, I think, um, I still wasn't on testosterone, and I just look like I have a baby face, pretty much. That was a real shitty time in my life, you know, the in-between stages are always horrible. So, the next few pictures I'm going to show you are me three months on testosterone. And you can kind of see, like, under the chin, I have a couple hairs above my lip. Um, basically taking whatever the hell I could get at that point. Um, I didn't shave for anything because I wanted to embrace the facial hair that I could grow. Uh, this is the same month from the last picture. Um, it's a bit clearer, so um, you can see that I do have, like, stray hairs above my lip and chin still. And this is just a better angle. Um, no sideburns, just kind of random little hairs sprouting out of my chin strap, I guess. I don't even know what to call it at this point. So this is when everything started to, like, kick into high gear, and I was, you know, looking in the mirror and starting to, like, really be, like, happy with the person who I was becoming. Um, so this was eight months on testosterone, and you can totally see, um, had a lot of hair uh, growing. I kind of stopped taking pictures for a while just because, like, I don't know, it was kind of a drag, I guess, taking pictures of absolutely nothing. But eight months <laughs> is when I looked in the mirror and enjoyed my reflection, should I say. Um, so you can really see um, the hair, obviously. Um, it's still, like, under my chin, which kind of sucks, but... Um, it's starting to kind of fill in. Um, yeah, so it kind of just... I, I've always wanted, like, more hair here. 
um, but it hasn't really happened. You can start to see it at eight months in this picture. Um, you can definitely see my eyebrows are a lot thicker than they used to be. Under the neck, like, I can grow so much hair here, but, like, it's just not here. And this was yesterday. I did shave, um, so it is, like, shorter, and I can grow it thicker, obviously, but, I don't know, it looks really, like, dumpy and hobo-ish? I, I don't know how to, how to say it. I'm basically just waiting for, like, this part to, like, grow in. So it looks like a full beard, so I just constantly, like, shave it so it's not so, like, you know what I'm saying? But you can definitely see it, like, it's starting to come up, like, uh, around my chin, and then there's a little more hair growing um, under my lip, but definitely above my lip. I, like, shave pretty often, too, so, like, not, like, fully shave, but, like, I like to make everything like nice and clean, basically. So that is basically all my facial hair, um, and I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, um, if you want to check out my other videos, I use Minoxidil, um, which I haven't used very recently, just because I'm starting to see like a lot more growth, and in the beginning I just like wanted a beard, right? Um, so definitely go check out that video, because it does say where you can get it, say um, how to use it and stuff along those lines. Another thing that I want to mention is acne because my acne has really sucked. I mean, it's not as bad, like, I've seen much worse, but, like, it always just, like, comes and goes randomly, um, and down here was the worst. It was, like, really bad here for a while, and now that my prescription has switched and that I applied the testosterone on my back, my back's definitely gotten um, a bit worse, which kind of sucks, but, like, I'd rather be on testosterone than not, uh, because of the acne or whatever, um, so, it definitely, like, outweighs each other. So, these two quick little images that I'm going to show you, um, two or three, something like that, um, my leg hair, like, I've always been able to, like, grow a decent amount of leg hair, um, but it does get patchy for some reason, like, my inner thigh, like, can barely grow any hair at all, which kind of sucks. This next picture, um, is my stomach hair, because I can actually, like, grow a lot of stomach hair. Like, I am so hairy, my butt's so hairy. Like, basically, everything that's hidden from a shirt is just hair. It's, like, the weirdest thing ever. Like, I can barely grow a beard, but, like, I got enough for, like, six beards on, beards on my butt. Like, it's, it's so weird. Another, like, really, really recent change is my chest hair. Like, I'll show you the picture right now. So, like, I don't know. Like, it wasn't really anything that I was excited about in the beginning. Like, I really didn't, like, oh, oh, I want chest hair so bad, you know what I mean? Um, but it's so random um, to, like, see just because, like, most biological women don't have have it and when you don't have like top surgery or anything it's just it's just really weird to see but um there is quite a bit of chest hair that i have so i mean it's gonna be nice once i get top surgery but right now it's just kind of like weird i guess to me the next kind of like small thing i want to talk about is like my future plans and um how i see the rest of my transition and um, right now, it's summertime, so I'm trying to get a lot of stuff done, like, I'm trying to get this name change done, um, and then set up a consultation, but, shh, because that's, like, really low-key right now. Obviously, like, I haven't looked into bottom surgery, and I don't think that that's something that I'm going to want, but top surgery is definitely something that I'm looking into, um, so if you're from Massachusetts, um, and you want to, you know, tell me about a surgeon, because I am looking at surgeons right now. Um, if you have gone to see somebody from Massachusetts, like, that would be really awesome. Just let me know in the comments below. Um, even for name change, like, if you're from Mass and if you've gotten your name change, uh, let me know how that was for you because, like, I'm really interested, um, because this is stuff that I'm hoping to get done within the next, like, th three, two months or so. Um, so any, like, input would really help, so just feel free to put that down below. And for other trans people... Um, that would be really helpful. So guys, I was really excited to make this video um, because I haven't really, you know, looked at the changes. Um, 
especially pre-T, like, I really try not to, like, look at stuff like that, or look at stuff, like, in, like, childhood stuff, I don't know, I just, you know, I'm pushing through, pushing forward, and I ain't trying to look back at other crap, um, that I have to deal with, although it's kind of nice to look back sometimes, you know what I'm saying, um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, like, comment, subscribe, you know what to do, and hopefully my next video will be about my name change and how that was for me because, um, it really sucks when you have no idea what the hell you're doing, um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one.